We have parts of the throw where we're going to be, you know, on one leg, we're going to transition to the other leg in the middle of the throw. That's why we break it down into our pillars. big things you want to focus on to get more out of your strength training program, more out of your throwing training. You want to understand the critical importance of warming up. This is not the most exciting topic. However, it's one of those key details that you can leverage and use to get so much out of a practice or a gym session. Now, remember, one of the things we talk about, we have a strength training course and we have soon to release our new done for you training programs and there'll be information later on. You can check that out. You want to be able to start developing some work capacity. Warm up should get you warmed up. You should be breaking a sweat. Now you want to do that not just running laps. We're throwers. We need to be dynamic. We need to be understanding. We need to have the critical importance of mobility in any athlete is vital. But in a thrower, it's especially important. We have parts of the throw where we're going to be, you know, on one leg, we're going to transition to the other leg in the middle of the throw. That's why we break it down into our pillars. And so one of the things we're going to do is ankle mobility. We're going to be working on um, athletic development coordination all of these sorts of things we can encompass in a warm-up. A warm-up should be a tool to not just get you physically warm, but it can make you a better athlete and definitely more prepared for competition and training. And that's why you want to start shifting the dial on how you approach your warm-ups. If you want information about how to include training-specific warm-ups, we will have our Restore program link coming soon, so be sure to check it out.